okay dear students so this is a question from work energy power and this question is about power so let us see a cyclist rides up a hill of vertical height 100 meter in 500 second at constant speed okay fine so constant speed is very very important i will tell you why the combined combined mass of the cyclist and the bicycle is 80 kg the power developed by the cyclist is 200 watt what is the efficiency of the energy transfer in this system power developed by the cyclist is 200 watt okay and what is the efficiency fine so uh, I, I come to this point that why it is uh, riding at a constant speed later first of all let us uh, clear this uh, question so what do we do in these kind of question is that power is defined as the energy that is changed divided by the time that is taken now let us say um, it was at the ground the body was at the ground first of all the cyclist and the and the cycle and now it has gone up by 100 meters so what is the net energy now there is, there is a change in energy so work done because work energy theorem says work done is equal to negative change in potential energy but negative sign we will not consider we just put energy here so it will be m g h and divided by time t so what is the mass mass is 80 kg gravity will be taken as 10 and the height will be taken as 100 meter and it has taken 500 seconds so now very easily we solve it so it is coming out to be 160 joule per second so you can say 160 watt so 160 watt is the output of uh, the system that we have got that overall it has utilized 160 watt of your energy but the cyclist is developing a power of 200 watt actually so there is a loss of power here so this is the input power and this is the output power so by efficiency we mean the power output divided by input into 200 so the output is 160 which is lesser than the input that is 200 in 200 and we will find the efficiency here so it is coming out to be 80 percent so d is the correct answer so this is how we do it we first of all find what is the power output and we find what is the power input by the engine or by the cyclist so the efficiency will be 80 percent so 80 percent of the total power input is delivered as the power output now i was earlier talking about why it is moving at a constant speed why is this condition given to you there is this thing in work energy theorem work energy theorem this that work done by the field force which is gravity here work done by the gravitation will be equal to the positive change in kinetic energy and the negative change in potential energy but in this case because it is moving at a constant speed so i can say that the change in the kinetic energy is neglected and that becomes the perfect case for this kind of a definition that yes we can use these formulas so this is the additional condition that has to be applied on these kind of questions to apply this formulation so which generally teachers skip uh, while discussing this kind of problem so i have discussed even that part so this is professor varu for you all the best my dear students please subscribe to the youtube channel all the best bye